What's going on, gents and ladies who might be listening? Nigel Hunt here, the intellectual douchebag, coming to you with yet another video. And this video is actually going to be directed towards the ladies who I know are listening. I want to talk about something I've been noticing. Me and other men, other bachelors, who are in my age bracket. I'm, I'm in my early 40s. And let me tell you, this is a bad time to be dating. Because the type of women that you end up meeting tend to be some whack-ass bitches. First off, they tend to be the women who are in their mid and late 30s and early 40s. Now, I can only speak for myself on this. They also tend to be professional career women. They have good paying jobs, have their own place, what have you. But they are some of the wackest females that you'll ever deal with. And I notice one thing in common with these women. They're all single. They don't have a boyfriend. They don't even have a prospect of a boyfriend. A lot of them are online doing online dating. They'd be lucky if they can keep a man to hang around for a month. And why is that, you ask? Well, because they're whack. And I'm going off of a personal experience that I recently had with this woman I used to date. And I stopped dating. And this was going back, I don't know, three, four years. And I stopped dating her when I saw that, well, one, she was kind of whack. Cool to hang out with. Cool to do things with, but... When it came to sex and things of that nature, there are all these restrictions, all this bullshit. And let me tell you, when you're dealing with women who are at that age range, you really don't have the patience to deal with the bullshit. Because this is the time when they are actually becoming less and less desirable. They've already hit the wall. And it's like they feel that, I don't know, if they become more difficult when it comes to sex or acquiring sex from them, somehow it gives them value, which is the total opposite. It actually sends men running in the other direction, like myself. Now, I'm not trying to put this girl on blast or what have you. It's just with her, she shares a lot of the same philosophy as many of these whack women. And the funny thing is, I know a woman who's older than her. Who, she was younger, she was doing the same thing that this girl was doing. Now this woman is 45 years old. No man in sight. doesn't look as good as she did when she was in her mid-30s and early 40s. Nobody's checking for her. And she did the shit all to herself. At 45, the game is pretty much over. Marriage, unless you marry someone who's in their 60s, you can forget about it. So when I look at this younger girl, or the one I used to deal with, I see her on the same path as this girl, and I know what's going to happen. And just as the one I know is a career woman who's doing good for herself, this other woman who's 45 is a career woman who's doing good for herself. And just go, that just goes to show you, men really don't care about that. Anyway, in this video, I'm going to go into what makes 
a woman, a whack bitch that no one wants to deal with. And I should also mention before I get into the video, the two women that I'm talking about are both black women. No surprise there to anyone, I'm sure. So, what makes a woman a whack bitch? Well, for every man it's different. I'm going to get into what makes a woman a whack bitch in my eyes. And for me, the big thing is sex. See, if I meet a woman who's close to my age or older, I know she's had her experiences. I know she's done her shit in her 20s. Every man knows this. So when you come to a man at that age and you're saying dumb shit like, um, have you heard of the 90 day rule? Yeah, you have to wait 90 days before we can have sex. You fucking kidding me? That's whack. You're in your mid, late 30s, early 40s and older, and you expect some man to wait 90 days to have sex with you. It's like, chick, you don't have the only vagina in town, you know. There are younger, more attractive women that I could be dealing with instead of your ass. Because you want to put up this facade that you're this special woman who's not like that when that's all a bunch of bullshit. So that's one. It seems like really that there's some sexual stigma or or some sexual hang up behind a lot of these women. I guess that could be number two. They seem to have a lot of sexual hang ups. And nobody wants no man, no red blooded man who's full of testosterone wants to deal with no goddamn woman with sexual hang ups. And I'm going to make another video addressing that because, let me tell you, in my experience, no other group of women have more sexual hang-ups than black women. I'll say that again. No other group of women have more sexual hang-ups than a black woman. So there's that 90 day rule bullshit which was created by a comedian, Steve Harvey. And it just goes to show you how stupid these women are. Because when this guy was doing his uh, comedy tour, you don't think women were throwing ass at him? You think he was telling them that, oh, we have to wait 90 days before we have sex. Yeah, right. So that's bullshit just to exploit black women, which, well, seems to be working. So there's the 90 day rule, and there's the uh, doggy styles and personal. If those words have ever come out of your mouth as a woman, you're a whack bitch. No man wants to hear that. I was told that by a woman and the shit turned me off completely, cold, right there. Had no more interest in dealing with her, having sex with her, or anything. It was like someone threw the master switch to a city, and the whole city, all the lights just went out. Or another thing is, when you come over to see them, they dress in the most unattractive, unsensual clothing that you can ever imagine. And they expect you to have feelings of romance and lust and whatever towards them. When they're trolling around the house in a pair of sweatpants that Rick Ross could fit into. Come on, man. Another thing I like to do, too, is when I'm in the uh, mall or anywhere and I see the Victoria's Secret store I like to go in with a woman and for me it's a test I want to see how comfortable she is about going into places like that I tell you these uh, professional women they get stiffer than anything I've, I've come across a couple uh, you, you want to go in there with me why why the fuck do you think 
I want to see what you would look good in, in there. Get some ideas. So that's number three, I guess. If she's stiff, again, come to sex. About going into places where you're wearing sexy lingerie. Fredericks of Hollywood or what have you. That's another sign that this chick is whack. And I don't understand why. Because if you want a man, don't you understand a man is a sexual being? We're visual. We like seeing you sexy. You're not going to catch a man if you're stiff sexually. So that's it, man. All these uh, sexual hang-ups. And you see, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with these women. Because like I said, I've met a couple of them. And they all seem to be career women. See, I don't I don't know what it is. I don't know if maybe one day they happen to walk in on their parents and they caught daddy fucking mommy in the ass and it scarred them for life. I don't fucking know. But they really have a stigma when it comes to sex. For me, that's the... That's the major case with these whack-ass women. If you have a stigma when it comes to sex, because you get older, you should be more experienced. As you get older, you should be able to teach me some shit. Not acting like you're some prude or some some virgin girl or some goddamn nun. Nobody wants to deal with that. And another thing that makes a woman whack, as I'm thinking about it, is if she's selfish when it comes to sex. I can't tell you how many women I've come across that I get into talking about sex because I want to know where your head is when I, you know, while I'm with a woman. I want to know where the fuck her head is. So I get into talking about sex, what you like, what you don't like, what you're about. I can't tell you how many women have told me, again, black women, oh, And this is when, you know, I ask about oral sex. Oh, I love it when a man goes down on me orally. But I really don't like going down on a man. What? That's some whack-ass, selfish shit. Who wants to deal with that? And this is what you tend to run into when you deal with these women who are in their mid, late, early 40s and beyond. It's like they're sexually burnt out. They've done everything (laughs) there is to do in their 20s. And now they're trying to reconstruct and revamp themselves. Because time is running out and I got to find a husband before I turn into a pumpkin at midnight. But I'm going to find a husband by being restrictive when it comes to sex to make them think that I'm a catch. No, ladies, that's not working. That's actually sending the man running in the other direction. Now I want to add one more thing to this video. Talking about these whack ass bitches. I'm going to give you a true to life example of what I'm talking about. Something that I've witnessed. Now the older whack ass bitch I'm talking about on my other channel I made a video about her and I gave her the name Alicia so in this video we will call her Alicia well I used to work with her at the prior job I had and she'd invited me out one time to go to a comedy club with her and two of her girlfriends we'll call the we'll call one of her friends Keisha and the other one Kim now Kim she would always talk kinda greasy about Kim because Kim was out there getting her freak on and she was not ashamed about it and Alicia would always say oh that Kim she's out there getting her freak on for real for real and this intrigued me I wanted to meet Kim Anyway, we went out to the comedy club, and when I saw Kim, Kim was fine. 
She was very sophisticated. She was not dressed like a whore. She had her glasses on, looking cute and innocent, but she was a freak. I actually wanted to see if I can get Alicia to uh, <laughs> set me up with Kim. But that wouldn't have went well since I was kind of trying to talk to Alicia back then. So that would have really been fucked up. So I decided not to pursue that route. Anyway, fast forward years later. Kim ended up getting engaged and eventually getting married. And I think she may be currently living in North Carolina with her husband. See, she was dating this guy before and she told him, hey, look, I'm not trying to get romantically involved. This is just sex. I'm having fun. Well, Kim turned him out and that motherfucker went and got a ring, which I find ironic because out of Alicia and her other friend, Keisha, <laughs> out of all three of them, Kim was the only one that got married. Kim was the only one that was able to get someone to put a ring on it. And she's a black woman. <laughs> you know, of which 70% of them are single and not married. Well, this one ended up getting married. And why? Because she's not a whack bitch. Because she knows how to please a man. Because she has no sexual hang-ups. She's the kind of woman that loves sex, wants to have sex, is not ashamed of having sex, and doesn't care about people talking greasy about her. That's the kind of woman that men flock to. That's the kind of woman that usually, not only does she have one guy, but she may have two or three other guys trolling around waiting for the one main guy to fuck up so they can slip in. These women are never single. But with Alicia and Keisha, those bitches are always single. No man in sight, not even a prospect of having a man because they're whack. They have sexual hang-ups. They want to put a man through the business when he's sexually attracted to her to them want to make them wait 90 days put them through the whole I'm saving myself for marriage bullshit Jesus is Lord Jesus is my husband crap and when men see this they tend to run in the other direction now Alicia is 45 years old, going through health issues with a herniated disc, and nobody signed up to deal with her. Last time I saw her, she was looking kind of busted. Well, that story is for somebody out there. Well, I think this video is turning more into a rant than anything else which is really not what I wanted so I'm gonna wrap this video up I'm gonna start wrapping this video up by saying this and again this is directed toward the ladies if you've ever said anything like um haven't you ever heard of the 90 day rule and you're in your mid, late 30s and your 40s, you're a whack bitch. If you've ever said, doggy style's impersonal, you're a whack bitch. If you've ever said, oh, I like when a man go down, goes down on me, but I really don't like going down on a man. I really don't like giving head. You're a whack bitch. This one is key. If you have a good body 
and you don't like dressing sexy and being sensual for your man or the guy you're dating, you're a whack bitch. If all you do when a guy talks to you is talk about some sale that you got on shoes or on clothes and some deal that you got, you're a whack bitch. If you're a single mother and you tell a man, me and my kids are a package deal, you're a whack bitch. And I may address that more in another video. It's up to the man if he wants to accept you and your kids. You shouldn't be pushing that in his face. If you get with a man and you're into the church, Christian church, whatever, and white Jesus, and you get on the man's case because he's not into church or what have you, you're a whack bitch. Keep your religion and everything to yourself. No one gives a shit about your beliefs. If you get on a date with a man and you do nothing but complain about your past relationships and what the last guy did to you, you're a whack bitch. Now, to the men out there, if I am missing anything at all, which I'm sure I am, I can't cover everything. This is a very broad topic. Please comment in the comment field, what are some of the things that makes a woman a whack bitch in your eyes and what have you dealt with please comment below I look forward to hearing your feedback but I guess the key thing to tell if you're a whack bitch or not is whether or not you have a man or if even or if you have the prospect of a man if there's nobody in your life chances are you might be a whack bitch because I'll close with saying this. The women who I've met who had no sexual inhibitions and I'm, saying, and I'm not saying that they were whores. They just didn't have any sexual hang-ups. They didn't treat sex as like a gift that they bestowed upon you when they felt that you were doing everything you wanted to or you did right by them. No, they wanted to get laid just as much as the man. The women like that are either engaged, they're either in long-term relationships, I'm talking relationships going beyond five years, and still in the relationships to this day. Or they're married. I know a woman a black woman who's on her second marriage with kids with two kids from her first marriage and I knew this woman from way back when she was a freak back then she's a freak now and she's on her second marriage meanwhile these whack bitches that I've come across never even been engaged I wonder why. They're usually the women that end up alone, end up on these dating sites with nothing in the inbox. <laughs> and then after about six months to a year of being online, they start putting up things like, I'm deleting this profile soon. Uh, this website sucks. Da 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 da. Because nobody wants them. And if you're a whack bitch, we men can pick that up. We're not stupid. But anyway, I want this video to go all over the place. I'm just going to close by saying nobody, nobody wants a whack bitch. You're going to end up alone because nobody's checking for you. And if you're that age range, 35, late 30s, 40s, it's already a wrap. You just don't know it yet, but you'll, you'll see. Best to delete that online profile 
go down to Petco and get yourself a couple of cats because that's going to be it for you in companionship. And make sure to keep the door to your apartment or condo or whatever closed because one of them motherfuckers is going to try and make a break for it one of these days to get away from your ass. Anyway, that's all I got for this video. Please feel free to rate, share, and comment. If you enjoyed the video, please share it on social media and help me to help this channel to grow. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. More videos to come. This is Nigel Hunt, the intellectual douchebag. And I'm out of here, goddammit. I'm out. Till next time.